Sally here and I just received an order from scrapbook.com and I thought I would show you what I got. So my sister and niece and I went to Universal in Orlando recently and so I wanted to scrapbook our trip and of course we went there to go to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So um, I ordered this uh, paper pack from Color Play by Becky Fleck called Wizard World and I just thought I'd flip through the papers because it's a little bit hard to know exactly what you're getting when you um, when you look at it online. So it has six 12 by 12 sheets, two of each. They're double sided plus bonus pattern and so on the cover I just noticed it has a cool check pattern. Okay, so there's these cool candles. And on the back is the house covers. Colors, excuse me, and then a fun strip on both sides. And here are the house ties with the cool moon and stars. There's Harry on his broom and nice yellow check. And here's some cut aparts. And it's got um, a few different signs from Harry Potter on the back. So like a golden stitch, a doe, the glasses, nine and three quarters always, lighting bolt, keys, and the Deathly Hollows in that pattern. And there's two of those. And this just has a bunch of words that kind of describe um, the different houses. So in green is the words that describe Slytherin, in red, Gryffindor, yellow, Hufflepuff, and blue, Ravenclaw. So I like that. And then there's this Gryffindor color stripe on the back. There's a nice green check with more cut aparts that are fun. Let's see. There's those bottom ones. And that is the Color Play Wizard World pack. Then I also got the Wizard 102 kit, um, designs by Reminisce. Eight 12 by 12 papers, two sheets per design, and a sticker sheet. So here's the cover for that, and there's nothing on the back of that one. So here's a sheet um, that's mainly for Ravenclaw, but there are some that definitely will work for any house. And ooh, I love that a gray brick pattern on the back. Two of those. And here's Gryffindors. Excuse me. It is Hufflepuff. Sorry. I'll have to give this to my sister who is a Hufflepuff. Or at least some of it. Ooh, look at that. That's neat. I love that. And here's Gryffindors. What about that fire? So those are cool. Ooh, that's neat. These are pretty, pretty papers. And here's Slytherins. So these are fun. Oh, and the back looks like an ad for ads from the paper. That's cute. I like that. And here's the sticker sheet. So these will go very well for our trip. Then I got some individual papers. These are Wizarding World. Let me think. Scrapbook Customs. 
So here's the castle, and on the back is the house colors again. And here's the Hogwarts Express. It has some scripty on the side with nine and three quarters and brick on the back. And let's see, those were both scrapbook customs. This one is Reminisce again. I think this was from Wizard 101. So I thought that was pretty neat. The library, I think it was called, and look at that back. That's cool. And these are lighter weight. They're more copy weight. Um, this is Reminisce again. World of Adventure Wand Shop. And then here's a bunch of spells. And here's the bricks. And a Hogwarts Express on that side. And the sorting hat with the glasses of lightning bolt. And this, I also got this sticker sheet. This was from the Wizard 101. Again, some fun stickers that will be very good for our trip. And, oh, I got this again. I guess I didn't realize that was in that other paper pack. So I'll have three of these I'll have to share with my sister. And then these, oh, I got this twice too. Okay, well, I guess I didn't realize that these were in the paper pack. As I said, I thought it would be nice to go through the paper pack so you could see what's in there. Because it's kind of hard to tell what's in the paper packs. Anyway, so I also got these adorable stickers. Look how cute they are. Those will be fun. And I also got these stickers that I thought were very cute. And then I got this Wizard World Color Play uh, die cuts. Let's pull them out and see what we got. Oops. So there are how many pieces? 36 pieces. So there's some frames. Ooh, I like this. Fox, the Phoenix, Butterbeer, there's the different house flags, Magic Expecto Patronum, Ridiculous Quidditch Hoops, Wizards Welcome Muggles Tolerated, that's fun. There is a Golden Snitch, and there's the Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff house banners. A little Dobby, Owl, and the Lightning Bolt, Magical Day. Oh, those are cute. The glasses. Oh, here's some. Well, these are fun tabs for the houses. So, Chivalry for Hufflepuff, Patience for Gryffindor, Loyalty, and Bravery. Um, Always, here's a feather, mischief, lumos, sorting hat, here's a key, a train, ooh, a dragon, that's pretty cool. Here's the castle, and a wand with some stars. You're lucky I can't use magic outside of school, that's cute. And then a little lightning bolt. So, they had, that's all of my Harry Potter stuff I got, but they had free shipping if you got $55 worth of things. So, this was very close to $55, so I just rounded out the order. I had wanted to try this Totally Tiffany um, uh, Wood Mounted Stamp Organizer. That's what it's called. So I had seen a video about this and it looked very handy because I just have my stamps thrown in a bin willy-nilly so I can never find any. I have to unpack them all. 
So this has a tray that you put the stamps in, like so. And then you can just slide them in and out. And the video I saw, <clears throat> excuse me, she puts hers in, ooh, ooh, that's staticky. So she puts her stamps in the tray and then puts it back in the clear, the clear um, sleeve here. And then she puts it on her scanner for her printer and makes a copy of it. And because the tray is eight and a half by 11 and then she puts the paper in there and that way when she takes the stamps out, she knows exactly how they go back in. I thought that was super clever. So I'm excited to try this out. And then I had been, I had seen uh, Tim Holtz and Jennifer McGuire do this really cool technique with distress oxides and distress microglaze. So I'd been wanting to try that. So I finally got me some. So these are all of my fun things from scrapbook.com. So if you want, wanted to know what papers are in these packs, there you go. So I am very excited to scrapbook the pictures now from our trip. It will be so fun with all these cute papers. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.